Metal has been kind of steadily creeping back into the mainstream in a pretty notable way that I think kind of flew under the radar for a lot of people. There was a time in metal where regardless of how extreme it was or how non-extreme it was, it had a place at the table of discussion, whether it be from bands, from TV shows, from cultural references, it mattered. And in many ways, bands like Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, Pantera, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden were household names that most people would know, if not by their music music than by their name or their look alone. There was a cultural significance to metal, and that's not even going into the black metal movement, specifically the Norwegian black metal scene, which attracted so much media coverage at the time, obviously for the negative reason, but it was still something that was being brought into the mainstream and being put in front of so many people, and that continued even more so, probably to the biggest degree, in the 2000s with new metal and alternative metal, a lot of post-grunge bands, breaking into the mainstream and getting Billboard Top 200 charting albums, as well as Billboard Top 100 charting songs, at least in the top 10, and that's not even going into metalcore when it reached its stride with bands like Killswitch Engage, As I Lay Dying, and then the scene metalcore bands regularly making it into the top 10 of the Billboard Top 200. But then something shifted and something changed. Metal was no longer the zeitgeist that brought together a generation of people, in the same way that early heavy metal brought people together alongside rock, and then grunge defined the 1990s, and then the new metal movement defined the 2000s, as well as scene metalcore and metalcore in general, the 2010s was really getting dominated by a lot of other things. That's when you saw the rise of K-pop, that's when you saw the rise of mainstream trap just completely dominating the field, a lot of house, a lot of EDM, a lot of different genres that were coming into the forefront, and it started to become less and less about metal and rock. And a lot of the biggest rock bands at the time that were bursting on the scene barely could qualify as rock because they were pretty much just playing pop rock laden with a bunch of electronics. So people's first step into this music definitely wasn't what it used to be. And while there were certainly very popular bands and albums that came out in the late 2000s going into the 2010s and just throughout the 2010s, it wasn't until the past five years or so, I would say during like the pandemic years, that metal and rock started to get more more publicity once again and get into the mainstream once again with bands like Spirit Box, Knock Loose, Bad Omens, Lorna Shore, Sleep Token, whatever you want to say, these bands started to finally pierce into the mainstream as best as they possibly could. And of course they aren't going to get the same publicity of like a peak Metallica or a peak Nirvana. One thing you got to take into account, I use the term mainstream to describe heavy metal and rock mainstream. I was talking to someone in my comment section the other day about this very thing and trying to explain that when I use the term mainstream, obviously it's going to hit a little bit different than like a hip hop or a pop listener. A metal band to get like 1 million monthly listeners on Spotify, you're massive, you've made it, you're humongous, you're at your peak, you're in your prime. Whereas like the mainstream to a pop or rap listener is tens of millions. So when I say mainstream in a rock or metal light, I'm specifically referring to these bands that get millions, tens of millions of plays, of listeners, of shows, sell out big events, big festivals look at Knocked Loose playing Coachella, for example. So is metal popular to like again? Is it being a little desensitized and are people being more used to metal? Well, obviously, because metal has existed for so long and the internet has existed for so long, a lot of music listeners by default are a little desensitized to sort of the obscenities of metal. So they're not really as shocked necessarily by it and you could consider that a good or bad thing. And of course, there's always such an amazing metal underground that are that is just full of so many bands and artists and micro genres, micro labels that can service a specific itch that is completely different than the mainstream metal bands. But what I attribute a lot of it to, obviously, is the social media era. And considering this like just happened to coincide with the pandemic, it was a perfect storm time for a lot of these bands that either existed before the pandemic or started to blow up during the pandemic to sort of catch and keep their stride because of things like TikTok, because of things like YouTube Shorts people being shut in and not really being able to go anywhere or do much, they're obviously going to want to use their time on something, and most of the time, especially for younger people, it's doom-scrolling social media, and so when they see, like, Sleep Token for the first time, when they see Bad Omens for the first time, Knock Loose for the first time, Spirit Box, all of these different bands, it really is going to sort of be this parasocial dynamic, especially with people like Will Ramos of Lorna Shore, building up a little micro-community of his own, of people who are downright infatuated 
infatuated with him. I think the major difference between the popularity of metal now versus what it used to be is used to be it was sort of about rebellion and it was about going against something. Look at all the new metal bands and the culture that surrounded them. It was a very complex and nuanced time period. And that's not even getting into like the grunge scene, the early heavy metal scene or rock scenes, as well as like early black metal, death metal, grindcore, gore grind, and so on and so forth. I don't really see modern metal being defined by rebellion or going against the system because most people's reaction when you say you're a metalhead is just going to be like, oh, yeah, I mean, cool. Like, maybe they won't understand it. Maybe they won't get it. And especially depending on where you live, who you're talking to, the type of person they are, you may get some weird looks. You may get some weird question marks or I, I guess like assumptions made about you. But the vast majority of people aren't going to write you off for being a metalhead because it is generally speaking just an accepted art form at this point. And we've gotten past mostly the point of people just overall judging you for listening to a specific thing. Is it still going to exist. Yeah, I just made an entire video about Michael Knowles going after Mariana Cross by Ghost. Satanic Panic is still in full-fledged motion and it still very much exists. But you go on TikTok and you go on YouTube Shorts and you look up things like metal or emo or post-hardcore or metalcore and you'll see like even like black metal making it into the mainstream with like people using corpse paint as makeup and you're seeing these videos getting hundreds upon thousands of likes and shares and comments and it's clear to me that it's no longer just this underground thing or this thing that exists but people don't really know much about. People aren't necessarily taking metal as seriously all the time and feeling like they need to have a stick up their ass. People are adding some levity to things, being a little whimsical, having fun with it. And I think that's a wonderful thing, especially when you get creators that aren't afraid to go out of the comfort zone of the seriousness of metal and just to have a blast with it. Look at a band like Electric Callboy. I think they're doing fantastic things. Made a whole video about the importance of them in the modern sphere. And I think the modern wave of metal bands that are still heavy, still maintaining their roots, still maintaining the things that they are paying homage towards, but also getting a ton of people into this music, they're not only providing an amazing gateway into the genre, but they're showing that metal has a staying power. And I have steadily been seeing over the past three or four years, metal become more and more popular to like, just generally speaking, and seeing more content for this medium is so cool. But what are your guys' opinions of this. Do you think that metal is popular right now or popular to like or not? Do you think it's gone down? And do you like this new wave and what people are doing with it? You can let me know down in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear it. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morris and I'm signing off saying fair well.